Hollywood films are sold on star power, but can hold an audience spellbound. Today, one studio still booms star performances, finally crafting their images to ensure a winning performance. These fantasy creatures and characters are all the creations of Stan Winston Studios, one of Hollywood's most sought after effects artists. The superstar characters for these films and many others were all produced in Stan's workshop by a team of gifted artists and technical wizards. Stan has won four Academy Awards for his work on Aliens, Terminator 2, I'll be back. and Jurassic Park. Stan Winston was also an American visual effects supervisor as well as makeup artist. Stan worked with many directors such as James Cameron on the Terminator films as well as Steven Spielberg on the Jurassic Park movies. Stan not only worked with dinosaurs but also a wide range of fantasy creatures, all of which involve animatronics. For example, alien animatronics. Boobo the Owl, Clash of the Titans animatronics. Too heavy for the dead brats, eh? And finally, the movie Babe animatronics. People who are interested in animatronics often ask the question, what is the best way to get into animatronics if you have never done electronics before? So therefore, the answer to that is quite simply to go and research or study puppetry and robotics. Once you understand the mechanics of how things move and motion capture and all that, then look at the electronics and controls for each of these. Another way, and possibly the best way, to learn animatronics is to get hands-on experience. This could involve, for example, learning to use a soldering iron and starting to disassemble some old electronics you may find in the house. For people who are interested in mostly computer and futuristic technologies, you may want to look upon CGI. CGI, which stands for Computer Generated Imagery, is a growing industry in the media and gaming world. Such examples consist of a technique called motion capture. Motion capture can be seen in this clip, behind the scenes footage of the character Gollum, played by Andy Serkis from the Lord of the Rings series. When we act all the scenes together, and then I work in the motion capture studio repeating every single scene. The voice was was really um, born out of two things. One was trying to find a, a psychological root into why he speaks like that. But actually in physical terms it, it, it came from cats. It came from, we had three cats at home and uh, they do this incredible kind of convulsion where they, when they cough up fur balls and they kind of go <coughs> like that. And, that, and so that really became how Motion capture is quite simply the process of recording movements and translating this movement onto a digital model. This technique is being used more frequently in today's games as well as movies such as Rise of the Planet of the Apes in which again, Circus again, uses his acting abilities to capture the motion and, cap and that character of the super smart ape Caesar. So there you have it, Stan Winston, animatronics and CGI. Sadly, Stan passed away in 2008, but his legacy still lives on and creating some of the best special effects in the industry. For more information, please visit the site www.stanwinstonstudio.com and thank you for watching.